They're partnering with Canadian company as Roar Sports. CBD is not considered an antidote since January 2018. All these no athletes issues can it. just take CBD the entire time they're training. There's no, it's obviously there's no performance benefit. There's no psychoactive effect. It just reduces inflammation and it does Correct. it in a natural way. We've come a long way from the USC 202 press conference with Nate Diaz using the vape pen of CBD. It was removed from the prohibited Well, I don't know if you list. remember when Nate fought Connor, I think the second time, he goes to the press conference after and takes out a vape pen. You remember that? Mm -hmm. And someone asked him what he was doing, and he said he was with CBD. What exactly are you, just for the record, smoking? CBD, it helps with uh, healing process and uh, inflammation and stuff like that. So you want to get these for before or after the fights, training, and make your life a better place. You opened the door for them. You're welcome, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> so I go over to, to Nick and Nate. I say, hey, Nate, man, uh, hey, we changed that rule, you know, the, the whole CBD thing. And actually, we kind of refer to it as, as the Nate Diaz rule. And now it's in football and basketball, and it's, it's legal, and everybody's, the UFC's, the UFC's paid out, and, uh, and all the fighters got their own individual sports, even once you don't smoke no weed. So everybody's in the cannabis movement now because you're boy doing something right when Nate Diaz is like excited about a change in the USADA rule. I appreciate the love from the UFC for uh, showing, showing, uh, showing who started this gangster shit. That's right. And I believe you're involved. What, what's this Game Up company that you're involved with? Uh, Game Up CBD. Now that's my company. Uh, that's, that's CBD, all CBD, no psych, psychoactives. And uh, we're doing that now.